downtown Las Vegas is booming. And spearheading that change is Zappos CEO Tony Shea, who started the resurgence by moving his company's headquarters here. His latest contribution is walking distance from downtown, Airstream Park, where 20 travel trailers and 10 tiny homes have been assembled to create a very eclectic community. Not just anyone can enter this exclusive location. It's by invite only, and currently an experiment in micro-living. What was kind of the vision here? Uh, originally, I guess it was, the thought was, let's try to co-create a urban version of Burning Man. It's all friends and friends of friends, and, and that's definitely part of what I liked about the Burning Man environment. Yeah, exactly. and, and so uh, it's just fun being able to try to recreate that in an urban environment. I couldn't wait to have a look. Hey, Hi, Maggie. how's it going? Good, can I come in? Absolutely, all come right, right in. So, what do we got going on in here? We have a 2004 trailer that actually sleeps six people. Queen size bed. There are little storage nooks on either side. It's a full size kitchen. And a lot of folks do cooking either in their trailer or outside in our community kitchen. It's actually really about embracing this minimalist style of living and right. really having the community as and, and the, the stuff that's outside as, as your living room and not just being in, in your home. I think next up you've got to show me the shower because I'm 6'3 and I can't imagine that I'm going to fit in something like that in a trailer. Well, why don't we give it a try? Okay. All right. And they actually have a little seating area. I do fit in here. Got the, uh, yeah. Get all that on me. I can sit down if I'm lazy. Oh, yeah, what a day. I'm actually getting covered in drops here. <laughs> the park also includes 10 tiny tumbleweed homes. Daniel Park, a local Las Vegas musician, was originally asked by Tony Shea to join them for an evening that turned into a week, and that became permanent. Daniel? Hey, hey JD, hey, how are you? Man. Can I come in? You can come All right. on in. Oh wow, look at this place. There's roughly 130 square feet of living space in this tiny home. What's it like to live in a tiny house? It's amazing, JD. Um, I've, I've been living here almost eight months now. It feels like, like a playhouse. It feels really cozy. This is technically the kitchen area. So is this your bedroom up there? This is my bedroom. Can I have a look? Let's do it. Okay. That's All right. So you pull this. That is pretty awesome. Pull this ladder out. It's kind of like a library ladder. It's wow, pretty look sweet. At that. that looks really comfortable. They got lots of pillows up here. There's more space than I would have thought. Tiny as it may be, Daniel plans to hang his hat here for a while. So the travel trailers and tiny homes are where people are sleeping, but Airstream Park is really set up to be an actual community, with all the amenities one would need. At the heart of everything are repurposed shipping containers that house a laundry station, food and beverage facilities, and a kitchen. There are even two pools to beat those hot days. This is quite an experience here. I've never seen anything like uh, Airstream Park in my life. And you can never predict what's going to happen. Sometimes all the activity is up here, sometimes it's down by the campfires down there. It seems like a big part of who you are is that community feel. Is that right? Would I be correct in assuming that? Yeah, just getting people that maybe wouldn't have normally talked to each other to meet in an environment that's you know, helps make that happen. You know, for example, the way that residents here are organized is everyone has a different, uh, we don't call them chores, we call them contribution, contributions, okay. weekly contributions, and so, uh, and we just all rotate through making sure they have, and so on any given week, someone's in charge of taking care of the chickens, and someone's in charge of cleaning up the kitchen, and someone's in charge of watering the urban garden, and so yeah. we just rotate all those tasks. I know that one thing that everyone's kind of asking is how do they become a resident here? We're actually full right now, but for guests that come, we basically just ask them to fill out a, we call it an application, but it's really just a really short thing that says, what do you want to contribute? Right. And uh, same thing with residents, we ask them, what do you want to contribute? And we 
basically look for people that want to basically contribute more than they take. What do you love most about living here? You never get bored. 